In this video, I'm going to show you how to import overlays inside of OBS Studio in less than 10 seconds. Using our new importer allows you to import entire overlay packages, individual scenes, and even groups of sources in just one single click. This means that you can import the layout, filter, and text sources that we set up for our packs extremely fast. Let's get right into it. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Derek from Nerd or Die, and I'm really excited to debut our OBS Studio Overlay Importer. We're calling this feature Supercharged Overlays, which means that any of the overlay pack that has the Supercharged icon can be installed quickly for OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, or Stream Elements. However, in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about the OBS Studio Importer. To start, the first step is to download one of our overlay packs from our website that supports this. You can find what overlays has this feature with the link in the description below or by browsing our supercharged category. If you already own one of these packs, you will need to re-download to get the latest version. Once you've downloaded an overlay, unzip it like you normally would. You get all the normal files that we've included before, including the individual graphic assets and the importers for the other platforms that we mentioned. The file we'll be using is located in the OBS Studio importer folder, but we need to set up things properly first. You won't actually click this link, so don't be surprised if trying to open it does not work on your system. So first, let's make sure that your folder is stored somewhere that you'll be keeping it. Because once you import these files, you won't be able to move this folder anymore unless you actually import things again and start over. This is similar to what happens when you move any of your other overlay files. An extremely important step though is that you need to make sure to download and install all the fonts that we've linked in our setup guide. If you don't, when you import the text sources, they may not display properly or even at all. We'll cover what to do if you don't want to install the fonts shortly. The fonts can be found in the setup guide portion of the overlay. What you'll wanna do is visit each link for the font, download, then unzip the font, and install all of the font weights. While installing fonts is extremely simple, sometimes our packs do link to Google web fonts and finding the download link can be a little bit tricky. So to download these fonts, simply click the select this font option, click on the tab that pops up, and then click on the download arrow. And then you'll wanna click download. So from here, you can just unzip the file and install it as per normal. Once you've installed all the fonts, the hardest part is actually over. So let's go ahead and open up OBS Studio. The first thing that we recommend to do is to back up your current scene collection. While our importer will not remove any of your current scenes and can be used with your collection, we highly recommend exporting your current collection and saving this backup. We also recommend starting from an all new scene collection, although again, this is not required. If you're not familiar with scene collections, then you might wanna look into them a bit more before moving on, especially if you spent a lot of time setting up your current overlay. We don't want you to lose out on any of your work. So next, let's go into your settings and make sure your base canvas is set to 1920 by 1080. And this can be found in the video tab. Our overlays are all set for this base canvas size, which is the standard for Twitch streaming. If your base canvas is too large or too small, the overlays will still be imported, but they won't be aligned properly. Finally, let's go into the tool section and select scripts. From here, we'll hit the plus icon and then navigate to the overlay folder that we've downloaded. In the OBS Studio importer folder, add the file for your pack. And in this case, I'll add the glitch2 importer file. While I'm using glitch2 in this example, I want to mention that this process will be exactly the same for any other packs that support this importer. So if you have borderline or retro wave or whatever that has the supercharged icon, you can use this process. You'll now have a small drop down menu and it will have the scene templates area in the menu. The first option is to set up all scenes in the pack. So let's go ahead and click that. And with one click, you'll now have all the scenes that we've designed, installed, and ready to use. It's really that easy and that quick. So let's click through a bit and see how things look. You can easily swap any of the images or videos with the individual files included in your pack. This means that everything's laid out properly and you don't have to worry about that at all. So you can just swap out new scenes or new icons, whatever. 
You can also go into the text sources and change any of them that you need to. So if you need to change the schedule, your social media text, or any of the language that we've used in the game scenes, you can do this quickly. And again, not have to worry about positioning or adding filters as we'll have done that already. The importer also has the ability to import individual scenes, groups of scenes, and sources as well. Back in the tools scripts area, we can click on whatever scene we'd like to add, which I'm showing in a new scene collection here. You'll see that the scenes get added in as you click them. I do want to mention that we recommend changing the name of any of the scenes that you're going to add in multiple times before you import it again, or it could cause some issues with your import and just be a little bit confusing. In the menu dropdown, we can also go into the sources and then see individual groups of sources and even some solo sources that we've decided to add. This makes things really easy to add certain parts of your overlay into existing scenes. When you import these, they'll be installed on the active scene that you've selected. As I mentioned earlier, I wanna show an example of what it might look like if you don't follow the instructions properly so that you can troubleshoot a bit. For example, here's what happens if you don't install the fonts properly. You'll see the areas that should include text sources are empty or just don't look right, they get cut off, all sorts of little things can happen. So if you have this problem, make sure to go back and install all the necessary fonts. The best place to notice this will be on the welcome page, as we'll be using some of the fonts installed here. So if you don't see a welcome message or it doesn't look right, then you know you have an issue with this import. If your OBS Studio's base canvas size is too large or small, you'll see that the sources aren't aligned properly or get cut off. So if you have this issue, make sure to go into your settings and set the base canvas to 1920 by 1080. And with that, that's everything that you need to know to quickly install our OBS Studio overlays. We're really, really proud of this system and I hope that it helps you get to streaming faster and easier than before. If you have any questions or suggestions for this, please let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out nerdordie.com for great overlays and alerts that are quick and easy to set up. And also, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe with notifications on and give the video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.